In this video, I will be switching out the clutch switch, and this is what it looks like. So here, like I said, just as I showed you guys, um, this is the clutch switch right here. Um, the part number is down right here, and also on the piece of paper. So just so you can see, it is SQ zero nine two seven one eight nine. And again, as before, I'll post the link and the part number of the clutch switch of where I got it from. So let's go ahead and um remove the old one and install this one. In order to remove this, um, there is one 8mm bolt here, another one right here, and then the third one is right here. Now that this is out, um, just to give myself a little bit more room in here, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the OBD2 port. There's a little lever here and then there's a little light that connects to right here that I might need to have two hands to do that. So disconnect that. That's the only two wires that are connected, the OBD port and the light. And once you have disconnected that, you can go ahead and remove this and you have all this room and space to get it under there. Right, so now that you're looking up here, the clutch switch is right here. And it's like right above the brake pedal. So the way it works is when you push this in, I'll see, try to demonstrate it here. See how that lever right here? So keep an eye on this right here. So as I push down the clutch, it's going to push down on this thing right here. So I'm pushing down the clutch. There, do you see how it's um, pushing against the little switch? So that's, this is what we're changing out right here. So in order to remove this switch, you have to twist this clockwise. So clockwise a little bit so I can do it with one hand there so you hear that click now we can pull it out careful because it is still connected by the wire back here so with so now you can go ahead and disconnect the connector here and we'll connect the new switch before I'm um, putting in the new clutch switch, I just want to show you the differences between the two. So this is the old one, and this was on the car right out of the factory. So it being a 2004 and 2021, it you know with time it just goes bad. Which what was going bad? What was happening to me? And here's the new one. So obviously by the looks of it, it looks completely different. Um, like you know, obviously the side profile. You can see this one looks a little bit more, more bulkier. Um, and the connections, there's two pins right there. So it still has the same connections as the old one. Two pins right there. So yeah, so if you when you look at this one, the part number, it says it right here. I don't know this but so it's one J zero nine two seven one eight nine E. And obviously the part number for this is a lot different, as I just mentioned. So this is the updated clutch switch. So not to be all worried when you get get this and you see that it's, it looks completely different. So yeah, so this is the new one. Um, again, the connection looks slightly different right here, but still fits the connection. It's just different looks. So I went ahead and installed the new clutch switch. So first, you connect it to the connector in the back. And then the trick to put this back in is you got to insert it. Um, carefully and once it's all the way in you want to slowly turn it counterclockwise now and then the way to make sure that it's fully in it's going to click so it's going to do a click and it's good to do this with two hands so i try to do it with one hand and record um not really successful so it's better to do it with two hands so i wasn't able to record that part of it for you so just be careful because this thing can break and you don't want that to happen, especially if you only ordered one part. So now that this is all connected, new clutch switch is in. And yeah, and before you put everything back, um, turn on the car. Make sure the car does turn on. And if it does, you're all good. And now pretty much put everything all back together in reverse order. And that's how you switch out the clutch switch. Thanks for watching and have a good one.